The truth may surprise you, but the world you see is not the world I see. When you walk into the barn at dawn, when the light is soft and uncertain, when shadows stretch and sounds feel louder than usual, my eyes are already awake. Not because I see more than you, but because I see differently. And that difference shapes how safe I feel, how I move, and how I understand you. Have you ever noticed how calm some horses are at night, while others become alert, almost watchful, as if listening to something you cannot hear? Have you ever wondered whether darkness makes me afraid, or whether it actually makes me more aware? The answer is not as simple as day versus night. It lives somewhere deeper, in biology, evolution, and trust. I was not born to live in stalls, arenas, or paddocks. My eyes evolved long before fences, long before humans, long before riding. They evolved in open spaces, under wide skies, where survival depended on noticing movement long before danger arrived. That history still lives inside me. During the day, your world feels clear and sharp. Colors stand out. Details are easy. For me, daylight is useful, but it is not perfect. My eyes are built more for motion than for fine detail. I don't see the world in crisp edges the way you do. What I notice first is change. A shift in posture. A sudden movement. A shadow that wasn't there before. At night, however, something changes. My pupils expand far more than yours ever could. The structure of my retina allows more light to be captured, even when light is scarce. I don't see the dark the way you do. Where you see emptiness, I see contrast. Where you see uncertainty, I see shape and direction. But let me be honest with you. Night vision does not mean fear disappears. It means awareness increases. When the sun goes down, my instincts don't tell me to panic. They tell me to pay attention. My nervous system shifts into a quieter, more alert state. My ears rotate more often. My body reads the environment continuously. I am not imagining danger. I am prepared for it. This is where many misunderstandings begin. You might think I spook more at night because I'm afraid of the dark. But often, what you're seeing is not fear. It's sensitivity. I notice subtle things more clearly in low light. A moving shadow. A small sound. A change in your tension as you hold the reins differently after sunset. And yes, there are moments when darkness challenges me. Rapid transitions from bright light to darkness can be confusing. Walking out of a well-lit barn into the night can temporarily blind me, just as it does you. My eyes need time to adjust. When I hesitate, when I slow down, when I lower my head, I'm not being stubborn. I'm recalibrating. From a biological perspective, my eyes are designed for twilight. Dawn and dusk are where I see best. This makes sense when you remember who I am. A prey animal. Most predators hunt in low light. My ability to detect movement during these hours kept my ancestors alive. It still protects me today. But vision is never just about eyes. It's about how my brain processes what my eyes receive. At night, I rely more on memory, on routine, on familiarity. Paths I know feel safer. Spaces I recognize allow me to move confidently. When something changes in a familiar environment, I notice immediately. That's not resistance. That's intelligence. This is why predictability matters so much to me. If you always approach me calmly at night, if you speak before touching me, if you maintain consistent routines, darkness becomes neutral, even peaceful. But if night brings tension, 
rushing, sudden movements, or confusion. My nervous system remembers that too. Let me ask you something important. When you work with me in low light, are you asking me to see like a human? Or are you allowing me to see like a horse? Because here is the deeper truth. I don't judge day or night as good or bad. I judge safety. And safety is shaped by habits. In the final part of this story, I want to walk you through five realities that quietly determine how well I see, how safe I feel, and how much I trust you, regardless of whether the sun is high or the stars are out. First, my ability to see is deeply influenced by emotional regulation. When your body is calm, when your breathing is steady, when your movements are predictable, my nervous system mirrors that state. Vision improves when stress decreases. Tension narrows perception. Calm expands it. This is why a relaxed horse often navigates darkness better than a tense one, even with the same physical eyesight. Second, consistency in environment shapes confidence more than light levels ever will. When paths, routines, and expectations remain stable, my brain fills in gaps even when visibility drops. This is not guesswork. It's learned trust. Every calm experience builds a map inside me that says, this place is safe, even when I can't see everything clearly. Body. Third, abrupt transitions are harder for me than darkness itself. Moving suddenly from bright daylight into shadow, or from artificial light into open night, challenges my visual system, giving me a moment to pause, to lower my head, to adjust, allows my eyes and brain to recalibrate. That pause is not fear, it is adaptation. Fourth, your equipment and setup matter more at night than during the day. Poor lighting, sharp contrasts, reflective surfaces, or unfamiliar objects can appear threatening not because they are dangerous, but because they are unexpected. When you manage the environment thoughtfully, you reduce confusion and support my natural abilities instead of working against them. And fifth, the way you interpret my behavior defines our partnership. If you label hesitation as disobedience, you create tension. If you recognize it as communication, you create understanding. I don't resist darkness. I respond to uncertainty. When you respond with patience, clarity, and respect, night becomes just another part of our shared world. So, do I see better during the day or at night? The honest answer is this. I see best when I feel safe. Light helps. Biology helps. Evolution helps. But trust completes the picture. When you understand how I see, you stop demanding that I behave like a machine. You start allowing me to be what I am. A living, sensing being, navigating the world with eyes shaped by survival and a heart shaped by relationship. If this video helped you see horses differently, take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Like this video, so it reaches more people who care about horses and share it with someone who loves the equine world as much as you do. And if you want to go deeper into this conversation about ethics, trust, and partnership, I invite you to watch our previous video titled Are We Cruel to Ride? If Horses Could Talk. It connects directly to everything we explored here. Because the more you understand how I see the world, the more gently, wisely, and responsibly you will move through it with me.